I want to give a shout out to all of my patrons. Thank you so much for all of the continued support. And I am done. Okay, so I just finished up reading The Lesser Devil by Christopher Rocchio. This is the second book in the Sun Eater series. And I want to give you my unedited thoughts upon finishing this book, which was just right now. So I don't actually know if this is the second book um, because it's the novella. So I think a lot of times novellas aren't considered the second book. But look, it's the second one in the series, the first novella, however you want to put that. But uh, I, I enjoyed myself quite a lot here. I'm going to give this a four out of five. Which, but I'm really excited about that four out of five because I have never given a novella a four out of five. So this is a first. I am very predisposed towards liking big chonker books. Um, I don't know that I've ever given a book that's over like a thousand pages less than a four out of five. So the longer, the better for me. I just love that kind of stuff. So, cause I like development. I like things to get stretched out and you can't do that in novella form. You have to be a really, really awesome author. And this guy, Christopher Rocchio is that he is a magician when it comes to writing stuff. And I'm just so impressed by this guy, this young guy, uh, that's younger than me. And I'm not like terribly young, but he is just, He's so good uh, that I could I could just read anything by this guy and I'd enjoy it. But that doesn't um, I think that doesn't do this book service um, because the story here is also very good. Uh, it's not you know this big grand epic that the rest of the Sun Eater is, or, or I don't know if the rest of the Sun Eaters. I've only read the first one, uh, but I love that first book. I, I said the first one was my favorite science fiction that I've ever read, and I haven't read a ton of science fiction, so I you know that, take that statement for what it's worth. But it's absolutely fantastic. Um, I don't want to spoil too much about what this one's about for those that have not read The Sun Eater, um, but I I've already heard from people in my Discord, um, and if you haven't joined the Discord, hit the link down below. I'd love to talk to you about things, uh, but they've told me like, oh, I didn't realize that I should have read these novellas. I'm used to skipping novellas. Um, I guess I should go back and check this one out. Uh, yeah, yeah, you should. Um, in fact, I, I don't think there's a point in which you would be you know, left out by going back and reading this. I do think it makes very logical sense to read this right after the first book. Um, but you could go back at any point and read this because it ties up a thread uh, from the first book that we that you didn't feel like you were going to get that I really wanted. There is a character in the first book that kind of gets left behind in the story. And I think there's a lot of people that didn't love this character. I did. I really liked this character. Um, I didn't love them as a person, but I liked them as a character. Now, I, that might be a weird distinction here, but I like a lot of characters that are not great people. And I'm not saying this character was a bad person. Um, you know, this character was just a person that I felt compassion towards because they had to go through a lot of negative things. And I understand their family dynamic and what happened. And I, I, I even though this character had a lot of faults, I liked them a lot. And I wanted so badly to get more of this character, but it became very clear as the first book was going along that, look, that character's done, we're moving on. So to go back and get another story of this character from that character's POV, and I got so much more of an appreciation from this character, and I'm left at the end kind of disappointed that I don't get more. Maybe I do. Uh, I don't think I am, though. Uh, I get the sense that each of these novellas is going to be going and doing its own thing. Um, it would be very strange, in fact, if the next novella or any of the ones went back to continue on this character. Because it felt like this book achieved what it needed to do. It wanted to develop this character more. Uh, it wanted to develop the beginning kind of third of the first Sun Eater book more. And it achieved it with great success. Now, why did I not give it a five out of five? Um, I didn't give it a five out of five because I did not love um, a decent portion of this book. Um, you know, I, I'd say the second quarter of this book, I did not really enjoy. Uh, there's this kind of shoehorned in religious element here that didn't feel super relevant to the plot. Um, now, it's very possible, in fact, very likely that if Christopher Rocchio were watching this, he'd be kind of banging his head against the wall saying, no, it is very relevant, Matt. You're just not getting it. And that's probably very true because uh, Rocchio is a much smarter guy than I am. And, you know, I'm look, I'm just some random guy that happens to be making videos. I'm not actually some like fancy expert. I just decided to hit record one day. So I, I feel like I'm getting better and more intelligent in terms of what makes good fantasy good for me. 
Uh, but look, I miss a lot. And, but it just didn't feel, it felt out of place to me. And I, I didn't like it. I didn't love the characters that, that, that got introduced. And I kept, you know, begging this book to bring me back to the story that I feel like got promised in the beginning of it. And it did. Um, that's why I give this a four out of five, because that story did come back. And oh, did it come back? Because I, I it set up so hot and left me so interested on where things were going to go. And then it delivered. It just took a long time to deliver. Um, and now I get that it's all relative because a long time in a novella is not very long. But yeah, there's, I mean, I mean how long is this book? Um, it, do I have locations or pages on here? Uh, locations. Uh, some of my books get all messed up on my Kindle. Uh, but I don't know. What's this book? 200, 250 pages? You know, what, 50, 60 pages of this were, were that negative part? So, but yeah. Overall, good stuff. Good stuff makes me so excited to read more novellas from this uh, from this series. Because another series that I love, Stormlight Archive, has these novellas that are just not great. Uh, they're just passable. I read them because I really like Stormlight Archive, and I feel like they, you know, expand that world in a little bit more. But they're not even as, they're just not needed, and they are not great. Uh, Sanderson needs a lot of pages to get his point across and to make things good because he's not an incredible writer from a technical perspective. Uh, maybe he's got that in him, but he doesn't deliver on it. And I think it's intentional. Um, I think it's intentional because he knows that's what people want. Uh, the masses want that. And it works for me too, uh, because I, I don't need all of my authors to be a certain style. And I like Sanderson for what he is. Um, but you know, novellas are made for somebody like Rocchio and I, I, I'm just excited. I'm, I'm left more excited going forward in the Sun Eater series than I was before. And I was really excited before. So yeah, this is, uh, this is one not to miss um, at, by any stretch of the imagination. Check it out. It's fun. If you haven't read any Sun Eater, go back. There's, I believe that this series, if it continues on the path that it's on, is destined for greatness. And I, and I believe this author is destined for greatness. And that we're going to look back on this author and he's going to be a really big name in the fantasy, science fiction, you know, sci fantasy community, if that's the name for it. Um, and that I'm seeing an author that is really coming into their own. So uh, I'm going to end it off there. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, happy reading to you. I want to give another shout out to all my patrons with a special shout out to my Ascendant Tier patrons, Anna, Ben, Brian, CJ, Danute, Darren, Evan, Jamie, Maria, Michael Sugarman, My Book is Lit, Nathan T, Nev's Book Channel, Romeo Mike, Ron Reich, Russell, Ryan L, Sky, and Zion.